Why, hello. Let's see if I can show you me real quick like this so I can say hi. Hi. I don't have my viewfinder up, so I don't know how well I am centered. Okay. What's happening here is I'm about to cook my first vegan recipe. And also it's going to be my first experience with tofu. So I also want to show you a few things I got in my um, sort of going green and more sustainable and stuff like that. So this is a reusable coffee filter for the coffee machine my husband uses. So we don't have to buy paper filters. I got some raw whole cashews. I got... A nut milk bag and then these four glass bottles are to put the nut milk in because I'm gonna make my own cashew milk now I am going to be marinating this so that's all we're gonna get done right now so here's my extra firm tofu this is kind of a Asian what do they call it Asian garlic tofu so it's gonna be marinating in soy sauce hoisin sauce and minced garlic so what I'm gonna be doing right now is preparing the marinade and putting it in the refrigerator for about an hour or so um, before I actually cook it. So, I have my phone with the instructions right there. Alright, let's get started. I'm back. Um, I was feeling too lazy to clean my cutting board that needs to be cleaned, so I'm going to be cutting the tofu on a plate. So, my instructions. I need my phone to not lock right now. Okay. I gotta add the ingredients and stir. It's very little ingredients. Two tablespoons of soy sauce, a quarter cup of hoisin sauce, and two to three cloves of garlic minced. So, that's something good I can put this in. It says to use a shallow pan, but I don't have a shallow pan that I can put in the refrigerator. Alright, let's try this. Quarter cup of hoisin. I guess it would help to move my ingredients over here now, wouldn't it? Oh, now we gotta find where the plastic comes off. Oh, why is plastic so hard to get into? What? Now my phone locked again. Poison is open. I need a quarter cup. Let's see if I can open it. Okay. We're gonna go off camera. Oh my god, this is so hard to open. I can do that part. Where's my tablespoon? This is a half tablespoon. I gotta do four of these. Soy sauce. Yay. Two to three cloves of garlic minced. So a half teaspoon is about one clove. It says. I don't care. I have to refrigerate this. Okay. Put the soy sauce in the refrigerator. That's fun. I have a half a teaspoon of sugar. That's my 
other one in here. You're a half teaspoon. All right. I do have a half teaspoon one. Are you excited? Yes, should be. Now, now here's the test. Can I get the garlic jar open? Because the hoisin over here is giving me all the troubles. Ashley, you want to help me? Ashley? Yes, baby? Can you open mommy's jar? Okay, well we got the plastic off. Now can we open the lid? Oh, see? That was so much easier. Do like two and a half. It says two to three. I'm gonna go two and a half. Okay, now this goes in the refrigerator now too. Okay, so the only thing we're missing is the jar can't open. People, this is difficult. Alright, I'll be back with you when I have figured out how to open it. Bye! So as soon as I turned the camera off, I got it open. Ooh. Smell it? That's, that's Ashy. He's saying hi. Alright. So it was... Y'all are gonna be like, you've said it three times, it's a quarter cup. But I feel I need to double check. Yes, quarter cup. Supposed to be refrigerated now. Let's see. Refrigerate after opening. All right. Use a spoon to get some of that out. It's stuck to the measuring cup. Don't don't go to sleep, phone. Alright. Now we gotta skirt around a little bit. Sorry if the sound is annoying. This is like a it's a plastic container. Okay. That should be good. Now, let's move on to the actual tofu. God, now I got to figure out how to open the tofu. Come on. Come on. even harder to deal with. Alright, tofu, come out. Come in. There. Last corner. Okay. It's free. My dad, by the way, says tofu isn't food. Alright, it says to press it to get rid of excess moisture. There's a lot of moisture on this. Let me wipe off the moisture from the plate. Oh my god, let go. Okay, 
that's better. There's the brick of tofu. Woo! Well, that looks like fun, doesn't it? Supposed to cook it in one inch. Supposed to cut it in like one inch chunks. This is extra firm tofu, by the way. In case you're curious. needs to be made a little smaller. That's okay. We'll have some smaller chunks. It's fine. Okay. I am going to be getting rid of paper towels and napkins eventually. And what I mean by getting rid of is using up what I have not buying anymore. Um, I'm going to have like linen napkins and more um, kitchen towels so that I don't have to buy paper towels and stuff. Make more waste. All right, we gotta get these tossed around in here. Let's see. If I put the lid on, shake them around a little bit. There we go. I'm getting some sauce on them now. so I can show you what it looks like. Here's my tofu all covered in sauce. Now this is gonna go in the fridge. Now, um, the recipe says to marinate it for at least 30 minutes. Uh, I am going to be marinating it for about an hour. Let's see, marinate for at least 30 minutes, yep. All right. In the fridge you go. So once I'm ready to cook it, I need to cook the rice I'm going to use. And then I put this in a pan. And just brown them basically. And the person who wrote this said that if, if they dry out a bit while you're cooking it, um, just add a little more hoisin. So there we are. We have prepped for dinner. So I'll see you later. Bye. Alright, let's do some more cooking. Uh, I'm not going to finish up the... Uh, tofu right now because uh, it's pretty quick the rest of it. I just gotta make some rice and put the tofu in the pan for a few minutes. So what we're gonna work on is some cauliflower. Roasted cauliflower. It's only like five minutes of prep time but then it's like 30 minutes of cook time. So I'm gonna need maple syrup, sriracha, Hope I don't need much olive oil. <laughs> and I need some soy sauce and some black pepper. So I gotta get the soy sauce back out. Okay. Now, what do we do? Huh? Preheat oven to 400. Fun. 
Okay. Parchment paper on. Now what do we need to do? Unlock my phone. That's what we need to do. Okay, I gotta combine all of this stuff in a baggie and check it out. So, I need four cups of cauliflower florets. Four cups, people. Four cups. Two tablespoons of sriracha. I have to open this with apparently one hand. We're just gonna set that over there. Pretty sure it has a seal on it. Yep, yep, yep. Twist it up yet. Are we there we go. Alright, two tablespoons of sriracha. Then I need two tablespoons of olive oil. Hopefully I have still in this bottle. There's not much in here. I already have it on the grocery list, but... Two tablespoons. Almost two tablespoons. Good thing I can use sesame oil for the tofu later. Okay, and then I need a half tablespoon of soy sauce. Which, oh look, I have a half. Okay, this is too much work. Yeah, try not to make a mess. There. Half tablespoon of soy. I mean, I'm not really going to measure it. I have teaspoons, pretty small. Oh, wait, I'm going to keep all my 
stuff out. Okay. So now I mix all of this and then I put it in the baggie with the cauliflower. I'm just gonna get a little spoon out here. Mix, mix, mix. It's a very interesting smell. Sweet from the maple syrup. Spicy from the sriracha. Then you got the soy sauce too. And the pepper. And then we bake it for 30 minutes. record anymore last night so I'm gonna show you the leftovers and tell you how things tasted so this is currently where our leftovers are so there's the cauliflower on top you can see some tofu pieces in there and some brown rice so the cauliflower was very good um, it was called sweet and spicy in the recipe, um, uh, but I think they should have just changed the name to spicy. <laughs> the sriracha kind of overpowered everything. It was good. It was a little spicier than I would like, though, so I'll probably tone it down next time we make it, but we really liked it. Um, this is also some cashew milk I made this morning. I have two bottles of it. Put the date on it so I know when it was made. Makes sense to me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hang on, okay. All right. Let's, let's walk around in here somewhere. Okay. So, the, um, yeah, there we go. Fix yourself. Okay. So, the cauliflower was good, just very spicy, but, um, if you like spicy things, uh, I highly recommend it. It's good stuff. Uh, the tofu was interesting. It's the first time my husband and I have ever had tofu. So, you know, it's a little bit, um, you know, brand new kind of texture. And all of that. So, it was interesting. It was made with extra firm tofu. Um, but it almost had, like, no texture to me. Like, it was just kind of, like, mush when you bite into it. Um, so... I don't quite know how I feel about the tofu. I don't, like, hate it. But I don't think it's going to be something that I want to cook all the time. And really, you should have variety in your food anyway, so. Uh, my husband said he would need more time to get used to the tofu. Because <laughs> um, of the texture, but he didn't hate it either. Now, the marinade on the tofu was good. The flavor was really good. Um, and then the rice we had, just brown rice. So both the cauliflower and the tofu went really well with the rice. So overall it was a good dinner. Just, um, trying to figure out how we feel about tofu. It's interesting. So, that was it. And then I had put cashews in water to soak last night overnight so I could make cashew milk this morning, which is what I did. Uh, that was very easy to make. 
Um, tastes good. So yeah, didn't add any sweetener to it either. Um, most of the recipes I see call for adding like maple syrup to sweeten it, um, but we didn't. Well, I didn't. So I put a little vanilla in it though. Vanilla's good. So that's it. That's that's the end of my first experience in cooking vegan food. So we will. Um, Keep going, keep trying out more recipes and see how it goes. That's it. So thank you for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.